Hi everyone, in this video module we will see how to run comparison calculations and how it can be useful for us. So we will remove this minimum sales and maximum sales from our table and this average sales we will again convert it into sum that is total sales. Okay. Okay. So now we have this table with us which has total sales mentioned twice. Okay. Now if I want to edit this tot second column of total sales and if I come down we saw what are the various aggregation options available. Now if I come down there is something called as comparison calculation. There are various options available under this comparison calculations. For example, we have percentage of total, difference from total, percent difference from total, percentage of max, difference from max. What are these? We will see one by one. First, percentage of total. So I'm just going to click percentage of total and see what pops up. See, here you have the percentage of total mentioned here. What it means in other words is that the total sales in each subcategory we are going to first find out the sum. So we will click show summary row and we got the total sales as 33 lakhs. Okay, Out of this 33 lakhs, 4 lakhs of sales is uh, in subcategory of storage Okay, which means that this 4 lakh divided by 33 lakhs that is around 12.3 percentage of the total sales is in storage subcategory. Similarly, 3 lakhs divided by 33 lakhs, around 9 percentage of the sales is in uh, subcategory of phones. So this is how the percentage of total option works. Okay. If suppose I want to know the difference from total, then it will generate values which will which will be a difference from this that is the total is 3 lakh 33 lakhs and the total sales in the storage subcategory is 4 lakhs so what is the difference between this 33 lakhs minus 4 lakhs is equal to 29 lakhs so this kind of difference from the total value is given when we have the option difference from total what is the next uh, aggregation calculation we just go here. Next one is the percentage difference from total. This is kind of opposite to the percentage of total. We will just see how it works. We earlier saw that this sales in the storage subcategory is for 4 lakh rupees and the total sales uh, overall is 33 lakh rupees and this uh, 4 lakh was about 12 percentage of the total sales. If it is the opposite, then this 88% roughly 100 minus 12 is 88%. So 88% of the total sales. So this is the percentage difference from the total. It is just opposite to the percentage of total. Similarly, percentage of max. When you select percentage of max, then the highest value is considered as 100 percentage and the other values are calculated based on it. For example, since the table here is already in presenting order, this storage subcategory of 4 lakh rupees is considered as 100%. Okay. Next, uh, phone in phone subcategory, sales of 3 lakhs is made. So, this 3 lakhs divided by the highest value, that is maximum value of 4 lakhs is calculated. 3 lakhs divided by 4 lakh which comes around 75 percentage. Similarly, 3 lakh divided by 4 lakh again 75, 75 percentage. So, this highest value is considered as 100 percentage and the other values are calculated based on this topmost value. Okay. Similarly, the exact opposite to it is the percentage uh, difference from max. Okay. Difference from max is the absolute number which is the difference. So considering the maximum value to be 4,11,000 the difference between 4,11,000 and 4,11,000 is 0. That's fine. So the difference between 4,11,000 and 3,5,000 is roughly 1,5,000. So 
this is how the difference from max is calculated though there are various options there are various options available like percentage of total difference from total percentage difference from total percentage of max and difference from max though there are these many options available the most commonly used ones are percentage of total so in this video module we saw how comparison calculations can be used in google data studio hope it is clear we'll catch up in the next video module thank you